Barack Obama has hit the headlines, not for his policies this time, but for his quick reflexes. Sorry, I'm going to... President Obama wouldn't hurt a fly. Get out of here. He wouldn't hurt it. He'd kill it. Nice. The buzz in the press <laughs> was full of admiration. Oh, don't mess with him. And he's one for one. But he so got much- him. <laughs> Everyone kept comparing it to the chopstick scene. Man who catch fly with chopstick accomplish anything. From the Karate Kid. Hey, 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 Mr. Miyagi, look. I got the sucker. That sucker has become the most famous fly, dead or alive, on planet Earth. The macho fly swat bugged PETA. The animal rights group's reaction sounded like a fortune cookie proverb. He isn't the Buddha. He's a human being. And human beings have a long way to go before they think, before they act. Though Obama supporters do occasionally portray him as Buddha, During one of the presidential debates, a fly perched on then-Senator Obama's head and lived to buzz about it. Camps in the hills between Afghanistan and Pakistan. Now it's the web that's fly-infested with parody videos. Ninja parodies. (laughs) The last seconds of the Obama fly is seen through the fly's eyes. Get up. Another feature is a talking fly. Mom, did you see where Dad flew off to? From taps to Flight of the Bumblebee, captioned in Hungarian. Something to make you laugh for the end of the bulletin. That's it from the 4.30 News team. For Thursday, I'm Samantha Armitage. Have a great night. See you soon.